Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I'm going to practically show you how to take screenshots using this command known as save underscore screenshot command. So let's get started. How to use this command in Selenium Python? We have to use something like this. We have to say driver dot save underscore screenshot. And inside this command, we have to provide the name of the screenshot file. Okay, after taken this, this will be the name of the screenshot file and the extension. Okay, dot PNG I generally prefer. So the name of the screenshot file with extension, we have to pass into this command and we have to use the command like this. So wherever during the automation script running, right, you want to take a screenshot, you just put this command, it will take a screenshot for you. You can mention this command any number of times also. Okay, if you want multiple screenshots during different, different uh, places while the automation script is running, okay, of different pages, you want to take the screenshot. You can mention this command in your automation script multiple times, wherever you need it during the automation script, it will keep on taking the screenshots. So let me practically demonstrate this command for you, which is command of simple and straightforward command. So for that, I'll switch to this PyCharm ID, where we already have some automation code written in Selenium Python for opening the Chrome browser for maximizing the browser window. And here using the get command, we have to open the application. Let's say I would like to open this application, this one, tutorials ninja.com slash demo application. I'll copy this URL here and paste it inside the get command. Okay. Now here, I want to take a screenshot at this location. When this home page is displayed, I want to take a screenshot of this home page. How to take the screenshot? Driver dot save screenshot. And here in the double quotes, give the name of the screenshot. Let's say home page and the extension dot png. That's it. This particular statement will take a screenshot. Simple. Now, not only this, uh, you see, before running the script, you see there is no screenshot here. So what, whatever I want to do now is like I would like to type my type something like let's say I want to type HP into this uh, search box field. Let me write some sample script here so that I can go to another page. I can take a screen or else uh, simple. I'll do one more thing. So from this application, what I will do here is instead of typing anything here, I'll simply click on this uh, search button. Okay. I'll inspect the search button. So when I click on the search button, no matter whether, give, whether I give a product name or not, it will take me to the search results page, right? So here is the button. Here is the button guys. So I will do something like this. Uh, have a slash view. I'll create an export expression for that button, search button. ID is equal to give that ID of the search ID of this uh, due section, which is uh, under which we have this uh, button. Somewhere here we have this button. Here I'll give double slash button. You see, it's locating this button. Only one element is getting located. That's nothing but this particular button. So I'll copy this export expression of that the search button. Which I want to click. Simply click on the button driver dot driver dot find element i dot xpath give the xpath expression of that button i want to click and simply say dot click that's it. okay when i click on the button what will happen it will search for no product here and uh, you'll be taken to this search page you see you're on the search page i want to take a screenshot of the search page no matter how many times you want to take the screenshot it, it's okay guys okay just repeat this command wherever you want to take a screenshot during the script i want dot save screenshot you mentioned and this time i'll say search page dot png i'll say okay now finally i'll quit the browser the script will be a bit fast, guys. Okay, we'll not be able to see what's happening on the script because the selenium will be very fast. Okay, let me run this code and uh, but after running the script, I should be able to see these two screenshots, one with the name homepage.png here under this project, and another should be having such page.png. Two screenshots should be there under the project created. Okay, run this. It will open the Chrome browser, maximize the browser window, open the application URL, and it will first take the screenshot of homepage and after the search button and such page screenshot and close the browser. Okay, you see you got the two screenshots, homepage.png and such page.png, two screenshots with the given name and extension, they got created under the project. Let me open this homepage.png here. You see the homepage can uh, can be homepage.png can be opened in the editor also, or you can go to the location where it got saved in your machine. Right click open in Explorer, you can say. So this is the location where the homepage.png got stored in your project under the project in your machine. This is a screenshot of the homepage. Similarly, as you can see here, the search page.png you can open in the editor like this or you see i search for no product and i got this there's no product that matches the search criteria and i can also go to the location where the screenshot has been saved in my machine under the project here so here like this also i can open and see in my machine okay so this is how guys we can take the screenshots in selenium python using this command known as save screenshot command so that's all for this session see you in the next session thank you bye bye